Because chances are, if you're in this truth, you ain't got no money to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it seemed like ever since I started getting into this truth, uh, shit been going downhill. Yeah, but he picks you back up, though. Yeah, I mean, he's going to give you a death. He's supposed to. Yeah. He's going to send you to a continuous like, oh, you know, he ain't going to continuously afflict you. Like when you pray, say the Lord's Prayer, you're supposed to ask for your daily bread. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all you need. You, know, you don't need nothing more than that. Cause he'll, he'll let you come up and get some air. Cause the Lord will hook you up, man. Cause I ain't got no money. Like, man, I ain't got no job. You know what I'm saying? I needed a computer. You know what I'm saying? I need a hard drive. I was one day. I was like, damn, I need a new hard drive. I found a fucking uh, 200 gigabyte hard drive in the trash. Like a couple weeks later, I found a brand new 64 bit computer in the trash. Wow. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Nice compact. You know when I was living out there in Fairgate. You know? I was always finding all kind of shit. We didn't have when we first moved in the house and had no furniture, man, we'll find chairs and tables and all kind of shit outside, man. So the Lord Lord will hook you up. You be walking down the street and you'll find a hundred dollar bill. It happens all the time. Yeah, that happened to me before. <laughs> the Lord it becomes it happens when it's when you need it. And I was hungry that day. Oh, did it happen when you needed it, right? Yeah. That's how it happens. Yeah, Cause you think the times are so bad it can't be the first man. It's almost like an angel would like make someone's wallet or a uh, butt. That ain't no wallet. If you find someone's they wallet, just you know how people walk yeah. in their pocket. Yeah, like a they got a hundred fall out and pull the hand out just to grab something. Yeah. yeah. When come right out of I always used to look at it that way too, because I, I used to think about the timing. Like, damn, the timing was perfect then, to see that shit on the ground. Then, if you find a wallet though with someone's ID in it or something. And then phone number, you gotta fight, track that person down and get their wallet back. Oh yeah, yeah. Put that money in it. Yeah. There's a scripture on that. I, don't, I can find it. You supposed to track them down and give them that money back. Wow. If you yeah, see that you know person that? lose it, if you got that's only right though, you know. Is. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, just, I can find the scripture. I know. Oh, I, I know. That scripture. I know. Yeah, I know. You know how it is though. I'm just saying. I mean, if you can, man. If you, if you can, you should always. Right, honest, we in this flesh oh, I boy, know you, you know, say, and, uh, but I know one. It's time, hungry season. Lot of wicked motherfuckers. You don't want to return no Yeah, because me and my brother found it. Demon. Yeah, because me and my brother found his phone, right? And it, we returned it, and it, the motherfucker wasn't even grateful. You know what I'm saying? I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went out our way to get the phone back to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. We came, like, drove ten miles to give it to him. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, see, just, just just to be a nice guy, it wasn't even happy. <laughs> Fucking know, you know. <laughs> I know if I ever lost something, I would want somebody to return my shit. Uh, where was we at? Peter. Peter. Okay. It says, for as God spared not the angels to sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness. Now we broke this down a couple weeks ago. Now these angels right here. Hold on a second. We was just reading about, uh, where does it say? Let me just read through this real quick for you. Because it just said through the covenant, so this is talking about people. Let me just read this. Because people read this, they'll think there's hell and fallen angels and shit. I mean, this is a deep scripture, actually. It says, For if God spared not the angels to sin, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared, this is talking about the same thing. Oh, this is all the same topic. Now listen. It says, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Now this is talking about the book of Genesis, the sixth chapter. And I'm gonna read that real quick because I'm gonna show y'all something. Those angels is talking about are the mighty men that's spoken of in Genesis six. Okay, because before the flood, people were mighty men. We, uh, we lived to be 900 to 1,000 years old. You can read it. Methuselah was the oldest person ever. He almost hit 1,000. Damn. Okay? It's like all these people, they lived to be 800 years old, 900 years old. Okay, so they, was known, they weren't just regular men. They was known as the sons of God. You had mighty men. Uh, they were known as angels. Because the word angel means messenger. Because when you look, because the angels, are, that's an English word. But the scripture don't say angel in the Greek. You know what I'm saying? You look it up in Greek, it says agalos. And when you look up the word messenger, which is in the New Testament also, 
what does it say? It says agalos. So the word for messenger, angel, is, is the same. It's the same word. So we're, we're messengers. The scriptures say to teach the gospel to all nations. So we're a messenger of the Most High. We're, we're angels. angels. Yeah, we're angels. we're angels. And we call our own children angels. You say she's just a little fucking monster. Yeah. They try to call Trayvon Martin an angel. <laughs> Can I read this precept for you for that? Oh, go ahead. This is Jude 6. And oh, yeah. the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Yep, going after strange flesh, that's talking about, I'm gonna get Genesis 6 chapter, go. That strange flesh is talking about this. Now hold that a second, we want, I gotta break, if we go there, I, gotta, I can't go through this without breaking it down. Genesis 6 and 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of God, and who's the sons of God? Were the sons of God. Like Romans, was that, 8 and 14 says that you the led by the spirit, you the sons of God. Oh, uh, Exodus, Exodus 4 and uh, what is that? 4 and 12 maybe? It says that Jacob or Israel is the son of God. He's God's firstborn son. What is that? Exodus 4. So there's a, there's a ton of scriptures that tell you the sons of God are Israelites. Now, now remember that. Now let me read this again. It says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of which all they chose. So this is those angels. Those sons of God is the angels that's spoken of in Jude and is spoken of in Peter. That's the sons of God because they, they lived to be 900 years old. They weren't like the regular men. And they started having sex with the regular men, okay? That's what this is talking about, because all through the Bible, it tells you that you're not supposed to take heathen women as your wives. If somebody's not of your nation, which is the nation of Israel, you're not, you're not supposed to have sex with a non-Israelite woman, okay? That's in the law. And that's what this is talking about. It says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. You hear that? With man. It's not talking about fallen angels. Nowhere, right, because people will say, oh, there's a great battle in heaven. And the angel, and Satan rebelled against God and some angels joined up with them and then they got kicked out of heaven. Now, people always use Genesis 6 chapter to make that claim, right? But where's the battle in heaven in Genesis 6? I don't see that. Where did Satan get kicked out of heaven? That's nowhere to be found. Right. Where did it say angels got kicked out of heaven and right. they fell? Right. It doesn't say that nowhere. Right. That's some made up bullshit. Don't get it twisted with what's in Revelation either. The most high and his angels fall against the serpent and his angels. Yep. The Revelation was written thousands of years after this. <laughs> so y'all you know, fallen angel shit is retarded. Yeah, that's a make heresy. And we breaking it down to you right here. Cause we gonna break it down. Listen, it says, and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. It is. buy that shit up too, man. They eat that shit up. But it said with man. It didn't say with fallen angels. It didn't say with, uh, you know what I mean? It said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for he, that he is also flesh. Yet his day shall be 120 years. Hmm. That was the punishment, okay, for being wicked and breaking the Lord's commandments. Because the, the, the transgression here was that the sons of God broke the commandment and had sex with the daughters of men. Okay, and that, that, that's the law that was broken. That was the sin that was committed. It was the sons of God committed the sin, not the regular people, okay? And, and the sons of God are also referred to as men. So I could see why I read hard to get confused by reading this, okay? It said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for he is also flesh. Yet his day shall be 120 years, but before that, people lived to be almost a thousand. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. And that word giants, that's where you get the word Nephilim. In the Nephilim, that's talking about those mighty men, okay? There was actual giants too, but it really means Nephilim. It means the fallen ones. Because the fall, it means you fell away from the truth. There were giants also in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. 
And that's why we read Peter's and called them angels, okay? Because they were mighty men. It was powerful like the real angels, you know what I mean? And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Mm. So you see that? So he said the wickedness of man. He didn't say the wickedness of fallen angels, the wickedness of the Anunnaki. <laughs> okay, because what was the wickedness that was committed? It was when the sons of God, which were also men, but they were super powerful men, they had sex with the regular heathens. And that was the transgression. And that's why the Lord flooded the earth. Because of what we did. Not because of what the heathens did. I can imagine the scientific wickedness should be used. Yeah, scientific wickedness. You know, if you live to be a thousand years old, your knowledge will increase to insane heights. You know what I'm saying? That's only where they get that stem cell research from. What if you had a thousand years of study? Could you imagine what you would learn in a thousand years studying? Right. Splicing genes. That's like somebody born in like 1000 still here. Like, but that's where stories like the Minotaur come from. The Minotaur, yeah. uh, uh, the Centaur, all that shit. Pip, uh, not Pip, that's the comic book name. Uh, <laughs> you know, Pip the Troll from, y'all don't know about that, do you? Uh, 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 Pan, 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 you know, a little fairy, you know, the, the little goat god. They, they was mixing creatures together back then. Right? Oh, yeah, Pan, yeah. He probably. I've seen that movie, Pan's Labyrinth. But you read about all these mythologies and shit. A lot of that shit is based on truth, man. Yeah. You learn how to extract that type of things out of the truth. You know? There were some some crazy creatures in the earth. Uh, weird, bizarre shit. They got they they. You can Google right now. Just Google human cow embryos. Just Google that together. Human cow embryos. I saw it here too. It was an uh, uh, article from 2006 is going to pop up from the BBC. So back in 2006, that we know of, they, they was creating uh, human cow hybrids. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucker, half human, half cow. They actually growing this shit in the laboratories right now. Yeah, I used to have before the oh, truth. Fuck. I used to have a spider. I have a human hand. Oh, that's, that's some what? crazy shit. I used to have to pick pictures. I believe it. Because, you know, that somebody who was taking the pictures, it was moving around. So each picture was showing the spider, you know, moving. It's like that movie. Different positions. And I, it's like that movie The Fly. I used to have the pictures, man. And they had a human head. They had a human head. They had a human face. What? They, they, they had they a human face. Oh, uh, man. They got a spider, man. They got it was on a web. That's some fuck that's out a, shit. Yeah, that's a, so they're, they're, that shit creepy bizarre. as fuck, man. Yeah, their Frankenstein shit is going yeah. on young what your imagination can think of. These people ain't gonna believe it anyway if you tell them, man. Most of these people don't they think you're crazy, man. But well they got they got uh Esau I, is clever. I, I watched a documentary on cable TV yeah. where, where they had a uh, genetically modified goat that when you when you got the goat milk out of the goat it was actually spider webs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, had, it had spider yeah, webs inside yeah. the milk yeah. and they would take the milk because yeah. they, they mixed the genes with the goat with the spider, and they got a goat spider. Yeah. And extract the, the proteins out of the milk. And then they make the webs out of it so they can make, yeah. uh, like, uh, body armor and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Really you see that? And that really that's, on, that's on regular TV. Yeah. That ain't, we ain't making shit up. Mm -hmm. They're playing Frankenstein. That's all this devil is doing. They grow human ears on the back of a mouse. Yeah. And, and actually implant them with somebody. Yeah. Surgically implant them to somebody. And motherfuckers be waiting in line, smiling. I'm about to get a new ear. I'm about yeah. to get a new nose, you know? Yeah. Get that mouse nose. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. Your body rejects it, too. Yeah. You know? But they give them medications and shit to, to calm that rejection down. And motherfuckers don't give a fuck. People are stupid. Well, it just came out of the news of Google. Google plans on putting microchips in everybody's brains. Right. <laughs> sure did. That's in the news. That was, that was in the news. That was in like the news. two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's their plan. That's their motherfucking plan. So what were we talking about? Let me get finished this and go back okay. to the haters. Oh, yeah. Giving themselves oh, over yeah. to fornication and going after strange flesh. Strange, that's some, that strange flesh is talking about what I just read in Genesis 6. That's, <laughs> that strange flesh is talking about, <laughs> that's some strange flesh, right? As soon as we talking about bitches, <laughs> like, you know you got a little bitch walk by. That's how the Lord do it, you that's know what I'm saying? Talking about some flesh, a little flesh walk by, you know what I'm saying? Right. Strange too. <laughs> yeah. You bet you know she's strange. Or set forth for an example. The strange means a heathen. You know what I mean? That's why this scriptures talk about strangers. Be a heathen. You know what I mean? I'll keep going. Or set forth 
for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Yeah, I so, didn't even know we was gonna go into that, man. That's I, I didn't know we was gonna go. That's how the spirit rolls, yeah, man. That, yeah, I mean, yeah, that eternal fire, though, it keeps talking about eternal fire. You know what that eternal fire is talking about is when you read in Revelation, and it's, you know where that scripture is? We're gonna have to get it. Uh, when it's talking about the core is gonna burn in the eternal fire and the smoke's gonna go up forever. Cause that eternal fire is the lake of fire, which is America getting destroyed. That's that eternal fire. It's all through the Bible. There's many scriptures that talk about that when America's destroyed, then the smoke is gonna to continue to the sky forever. That's the eternal fire. But people don't get that, man. They don't know how to add one on one together. You know what I'm saying? It's in Revelation. There's one in Revelation, there's one in Isaiah 34. Let's see what well, I got this right here, though, that you got. Uh, this is Revelation uh, 20, and uh, I'm going to start at 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and, dead, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire. That's this... The lake of fire is the everlasting uh, hell, which is the nuclear destruction, okay? That shit's gonna burn for a long time, all them nukes. Right. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. That's the second death. The first death was the flood. That's right. And that's what, we, that's what we was talking about in Peter. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's when it, right. When it said that, you know, the, uh, I'll get back to that Peter in a second. You looking for something, I'll get it. I'll get Peter's. Okay, yeah, yeah get that Peter. I'm, I'm gonna find that one scripture. Uh, I should already know this, man. I was just reading it. And I was like, right. here. I have a brain for And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. <laughs> yeah, meaning, yeah, meaning if you ain't right with the most high, you're going to die. You're going to die in that great death. Oh, it's Revelation 16. You know, 16? Yeah. Revelation 16 and 4, I think. Is that it? That's got to be it. No. Uh, what was that? I know that scripture, man. I was just reading it. Oh, well, it too talks about nuclear missiles and shit, in it? Yeah. <laughs> but if you want, I can just start at the top. Uh, just read on down, because there's a lot of meat hold in there. Hold on a second. There's a lot of meat in there. Read whatever. I'm going to find that script. Okay. Revelation, I'm starting at 16 and 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seventh angel, Go your way and pour out the vials of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sour upon the men, which had the mark of the beast. That that, that implant, everybody, whoever you say implant, that 666 mark in their forehead or in their right hand, and upon them which worshiped his image. And the second angel poured out the vial upon the sea, and it, came, and it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his ball upon the rivers and fountains of the waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of waters say, Waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, thou art, and was, and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. Well, yeah, that's what it, that's the, uh... Yeah, that's, that's talking about these wicked ass Israelites. That's right. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord Power Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given upon him to scorch men with fire. Oh, oh. And men were scorched with great heat. Those thermonuclear missiles a million degrees plus. And blast me the name of the Most High, uh, Nate, nasty Nate Satan, and which have power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. Weeping and gnashing Ooh, of teeth. Can you imagine that? 
They bite their own damn tongue off Ooh, from that pain. Help, it's a Revelation 19. When you going through some intense pain like that, you bite your tongue. Hey, just skip the Revelation 19. Okay. That, that, that's the, you got a good missile scripture for you right there. Let's get that Revelation. Yeah. That's the one that really go link up with the Peter. Right. So um, people get an understanding of what that everlasting fire is talking about. Because people, it, some people just can't get the hell thing. They just want to believe it so much, man. Like I said at the beginning of the video, like an hour or so ago, the word hell just means a hole in the ground. And actually, the English word hell is like it's a, really a Norse word. The word hell is Norse. You want me to skip down to a, uh, three? Or you want me to oh, start at three? Uh, 19 to 3. Check the top. Yeah, yeah. Start, start the top. top. 19 yeah. to 1. Revelation 19. I'll be quick, though. Uh, the Norse god, there's a Norse goddess named Hell, okay? Because the word Norse, excuse me, the word Hell is Norse. The Bible is written in Greek and Hebrew. So, how the hell is there a such thing as Hell if the word Hell ain't even a Hebrew or Greek word? It doesn't make no damn sense. Well, go ahead. Revelation 19 and 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, that means praise Yah. Oh, this also proves, real quick, I got a little, the word hallelujah, that means, like, it comes from the word halal, which means to praise or to exalt. And Yah, that's for, for God's name. God's name is Yahweh. But you call him Yah for short. But this proves that uh, God's name don't start with a J and it's not Jehovah. Because every time you say hallelujah, you don't say hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Do you say hallelujah? It's hallelujah. Because God's, God's name starts with a Y, not a J. And that, that proves Jesus ain't the Lord's real name. It ain't no J. It ain't hallelujah. Holla, it's holla, holla, uh, I can't even talk now. It's hallelujah. Hallelujah, salvation, and glory, and honor, and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore. Judge the great whore. Who's the great whore? Is America. Okay, uh, uh, the great whore is America. Uh, America has the spirit of a whore. Look, just look around. You never see as many whores in your goddamn life you see in America. Literally and metaphorically, this place is a goddamn whore. Okay? They, they played the harlot with every nation. They've committed fornication with every nation on earth. And every nation fornication with them. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, America's done infected the rest of the world with their diseases and with, the, uh, with their STDs. Yeah, yeah with that democracy, with uh, with their music, this bullshit ass, garbage That's ass the most music. The clearest form of STD on this planet yeah, is democracy. And, and really, the biggest STD is goddamn Hollywood. <laughs> That's a fucking disease for your ass right there. Hollywood, Hollywood. That's the Hollywood. That's like one of the major. Uh, brainwashing tools they use on your ass, man. Mm -hmm. They put demons on you and all kind of shit with them movies. Yeah. Oh shit, and it's rap nowadays. Yeah, rap is garbage. I'm gonna bring that shit up. They ain't messing with me. I, I, when I hear somebody bumping that shit, it ruins my day. Those people argue with you and say that shit is tight. This shit is terrible. Shit. It's heinous. You ain't gonna convince me that uh, Rick Ross is doing shit. No, he's not. He's a fat piece of shit. <laughs> right. For he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. So that who that talking about? Who what other country corrupted the whole earth? That's for these people that said America's not in the Bible. That's not it's not fucking rocket science. You know what I'm saying? This is some real easy shit to understand. It's a church up in West Virginia and Warrington that teach the congregation of America is not in the Bible. Some people will tell you America is in the Bible, but America is actually the New Jerusalem Damn, spoken of in Revelation. They said Reve they said America is the New Jerusalem that came out of heaven. So, wow. You ain't heard people say that shit? No, not yet. The Mormons so, believe that. They built a goddamn temple out in Salt Lake City. A million dollar temple. Yeah. That motherfucker caught some cheddar. <laughs> Fucking faggots. Which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. So that's an easy one to understand right there. Mm -hmm. You can't get that's America. Something's wrong with you, man. Right. Keep going. And hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Oh, yeah. Like right now, they're they trying to pass all kind of laws to make it so if you teach the Bible, uh, that's hate speech. Because now it's okay for homosexuals to get married and they get all kind of rights now. So if you're talking bad about against faggots, you're, you're committing hate speech and you go to jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And again, they said, hallelujah, 
and her smoke rolls up forever and ever. Now read that again. <laughs> America. And again they said, hallelujah. And her smoke rolls up Hold on. forever. Revelation 19 and 3. And again they said, hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. The smoke rose up forever and ever. It's from all the nuclear missiles hitting the earth. Well, hitting them, let's be specific, hitting America, Russia, and Great Britain, and China, North Korea, can't, man, they can't wait to, to blast this bitch, man. Oh, let me get that Jude real quick, just to back that up. Those America's allies, they fed up with America. They fed up with this motherfucking place, man. It's because America that their economies is all fucked up. Let me read the scripture real quick. Now you heard what he just read in Revelation, right? Now here goes Jude, and people always use Jude to prove that there's angels, and then you go to hell if you're wicked. Jude uh, uh, 6, and the angels which kept not their first estate, which is us, you know what I'm saying? But left their own habitation, because you got some Israelites who are wicked as hell. So it ain't really us, it's the wicked Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, eventually all Israel is going to be in the kingdom eventually. They will come back and be reincarnated into the kingdom. But first, they got to die that death. Okay? But it's still the sons of God. It said, in the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. What's their own habitation? It's the truth. It's the Most High. It's the Heavenly Father. That's our habitation. Okay? But left their own habitation, hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, which means we in these mortal bodies, um, Cause yeah, you read in Genesis. He, what did he, the Lord say? After, after he said, "I'm gonna get that real quick. I'm gonna go back to Genesis six and read it again, just so I make sure it's clear." Uh. Okay, uh, Genesis uh, six and three. And the Lord said, "My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also was flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years." Because before the Lord said that, man only lived to be a man lived to be a thousand years old, pretty much. And right there, the Lord just cut everybody's lifespan by what? 900 years almost? You know what I'm saying? 800 years? Just cut everybody just like that. That's a lot of years to cut off, ain't it? Yeah, so let me read that that's that well, that's the way that that's part. That's part of those everlasting chains of darkness. That's part of that. Another part of that. So that, yeah, that's part of amazing. Another part of everlasting change is darkness and your your bitch being a hoe, being around all kind of wickedness, living in a wicked kingdom, living around heathens. But you guys is in darkness. And if you don't know the name, the, the Lord's name, you're definitely in darkness. If you don't know the truth, you in total and utter darkness. You think them old fools and like bad ass Mustang want this nation in? Hell no. Uh, you're right, hell no. They love this shit. Those are old ass couples. Let me read this one time. And the angels was kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, hath he reserved under everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Hmm. All right, let me, yeah, even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Now listen, it says, even as Sodom, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? This, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, did they get cast down into hell, into the underworld? No, they got destroyed by fire. So it, this is the context. You got to put everything in the context, in the proper context when you're reading the scripture. They got nuke Lord style. Yeah, the, the Lord nuke, nuke, nuke their asses, but the special nuke, the <laughs> holy nuke. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, going after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vigilance of eternal fire. Okay? Cause it's, so it compared the eternal fire to Sodom and Gomorrah's destruction. So that tells you that's not talking about an actual underworld where Satan is down in hell, down in Hades. You know what I'm saying? What kind of dumbass shit is that, man? That is so, where, where they got that shit you got, from. You still got a revelation? No, I didn't. Oh, you read that one more time. I like, I like this proving these myths, man. It's just fun to me. Cause you ain't gonna tell me there's uh, such thing as hell. That's retarded. The same thing happens to everybody when they die, no matter how good or wicked you are. Oh, you 19 and 2. Yeah. For true and righteous are his judgment, for he hath judged the great whore. He hath judged the great whore, 
He, he going to judge the great whore just like he judged Sodom and Gomorrah with everlasting fire. Keep going. Which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. Fucking faggots. Probably going to get some donuts. Yeah, they, don't, they ain't in a hurry to get them Krispy Kremes. Ain't shit burning. Uh, they going to be burning soon. They going to be able to put this fire out. You heard about them 19 firemen that died out west. That's funny though. We're talking about fire and a fire truck drove by. Right. right. The 19 firemen that got killed on the west, there were witnesses that said that uh, when the, the firemen, when they got to wherever they were at, their safety zone, they said that the fire shifted direction like it went after a tension. Oh, yeah. You know, they I said the fire turned. You know, people was watching it and it went violently after them. That's you a, know what I'm that, saying? That was the spirit of the Lord. Yep, that that. Was, that's all it was. The angel, something came yep. down, blue, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. They, got, supposed to be, they said they were the elite firemen. The elite, how elite was they? Yeah, right. They burned in an elite fire. <laughs> Shit. They proud, they some proud motherfuckers, man. Yep. Then the most I do something to make a funny, make them turn them into a joke. There's gonna be more of that. <laughs> right. For he have judged the great whore. Yeah, it's gonna be much more. There's gonna be plenty more of that. It's gonna be all kind of destruction. Yep. Just like on 9-11, when they blew up the towers, the first tower got hit by a plane, then the second one didn't get hit to what, like uh, some minutes later, like mm -hmm. 10 minutes later or something? Because, yeah, so, and all them police people, all the uh, firemen, all kind of firemen died up in there. Thinking they was gonna rescue somebody. Yeah, they, oh, you definitely, it's all the same. Oh, they got this fireman park. There's a fireman park down downtown. There's all kind of uh, pre, pre Masonic symbolism up in the park. It's like some kind of uh, uh, memorial park or something. Downtown. I'll go ahead. For he has judged the great board, which did corrupt the earth. Cease from putting the curses. Everybody which, engine loud. Which did corrupt the earth with her fornication <laughs> and have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. See, that says the same thing as Jude. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and America's like Sodom and Gomorrah, we get the worst side of me, all these goddamn Sodomites. And steroids. Honestly, yeah. This is way worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Way. Man, it's like we got, we got a Sodom, America. America got fifty damn states. There's a plus Puerto Rico and them other states. Plus you got a Sodom and Gomorrah. You got two or three in Sodom and Gomorrahs in each state. Mm -hmm. Like giant Sodom and Gomorrahs. Like yeah. giant Sodom millions and, and millions of people in each. Columbus got like a million people. There's a million people in this raggedy ass city. Let this, me is, this is Sodom right here. <laughs> Let me get this scripture. Oh, let me finish oh. this up real quick and let right. you that because I just want to make a point because he just read his scripture said the smoke was going to go up forever and ever, right? <laughs> it says because they was, um, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh like all these faggots all these whores out here they are set forth as an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And that's the eternal fire of those missiles. So go ahead. I'm going to uh, I was get to the point. This, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. A desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished. Like, because like, he, he, he saw the Edomites are the ones who control America. Like, everybody knows there's some so-called Jews who control America. They're not really Jews. They're goddamn Edomites. Okay? They control Hollywood. They control the media. They control the government. Okay? They control everything. They, call, they, they control London. They control the crown of England. Okay? They control pretty much the whole world. Pretty much. Almost. They still got a couple holdouts like Iran they ain't got full control over yet. They getting there. And that, when they go into Iran and attack Iran, that's that's your mm -hmm. ass, man. Oh, yeah, they ain't, yeah, Russia. They, they mad because Russia ain't part of their system. They part. Yeah. I'll go ahead, my friend. All right. I want to start from the beginning. Jeremiah 49, 16. No, no. 49, 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. 
everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah yep. and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, no neither shall, abide shall a son of man dwell in it. Nobody lives in the Sodom and Gomorrah to this day. It's a damn desert wasteland. You know what I'm saying? You look, it's just You know what? They, they, they thought archaeologists went there and they found traces of uh, sulfur. Yeah, they found glass. There's glass yep, everywhere. Yep, yep. I like that scripture because he said just like Solomon and Gomorrah. Like, say the same thing as here. Say the same thing. As in the overthrow of Solomon and Gomorrah. So if I, Solomon and Gomorrah got destroyed by fire. I by, still got second Peter's. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, I got something else though. You finished with that? Yeah, we, yeah. Let me, no, let me, let me drop down to 20, uh, Jeremiah 49, 21. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. What's that mean? At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. He said the earth was moved. There's like another scripture in Isaiah that said the earth is going to uh, shake uh, back and forth like a drunkard, like a mm -hmm. drunk man. It's going to be wobbling. It's the earth's going to be, when the nukes start hitting the earth, is literally going to be wobbling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Great Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at, and that, and at that day, shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman and her pegs. Yeah, that, that's talk, yeah, going to the mighty men, that's their military, the special forces. Bitches they all yeah, they, like bitches. They're all a bunch of faggots. Well, you think they're going to be in a regular, normal state. Yeah, because... <laughs> back to their natural state. Right? Because just like... Because when the Lord comes back, the military is going to fight against them. That's what that war in heaven is talking about it. If you ever read Revelation 12, Revelation 12 says there's a war in heaven and the dragon uh, is going to fight against Michael and his angels, right? Mm -hmm. and the, the dragon is uh, the Roman Empire, or which is now known as America. It was, the dragon is another name for the devil. Okay, F-16s, yeah. F-22s, whatever Skyhawks they have that they claim is so untouchable. And they're going to fight against the Lord, right. and they're going to lose terribly. <laughs> terribly. Miserably. Yeah, miserably. <laughs> ain't miserably. Gonna... There's going to be a flawless victory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. They out there mad. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how the hell they think. They got elements. They, they create these weapons with the elements that the Lord created. Yeah, like. Right, right. Yeah, what that's they, true, that's, that's like, that don't make no damn sense. You're using elements that I created. To try to destroy me. Right, right. Like, what the hell is wrong with y'all, yeah. man? The Lord created some bad shit, though, didn't he? He sure did. All some bad shit. The Lord created. Yeah. He knew what the Lord knew what he was doing when he created uranium. Right. You know what I'm saying? The master of laying down blueprints. And the Lord gonna put their spirit in these goddamn stupid ass super devils to fight back. Mm -hmm. When they see these giant UFOs and, and the saints flying around, man, just like what's that in uh, Second Ezra the 13th? Yeah. When he, uh, they durst fight. Yeah, but yes, they durst fight. Yeah, they still fight even, yep. even though they didn't want to. Yeah, he put their spirit in. Yep. Here you go. This is Isaiah 42 and um, 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. I got to hear the Lord is a man of war. That's Exodus 15 and 3. That's right. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time hold my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. Now I will destroy and devour at once. Whoa, I, damn, damn, yeah, that, that kind of... See, see, that's why nobody reads out the Quran. It ain't, no, ain't nothing like that in there. <laughs> ain't no fire, that's fire. Man, that what scripture fire. is that? Let me highlight that. Ooh, that shit. 42 and... Um, yeah, that shit... 13, 14, that, that, 15, <laughs> and 16. That's I feel that shit in my stomach. Hey, the script, that's, that's that mighty sword. That's a... The scriptures say the word of God is quick and powerful. Yeah. It's sharper than any two edged sword. That scripture made it. for us to read. It is pretty yeah. much. Isaiah 42, bro. And you, I mean, the whole Bible's like that, man. You Hold can't this real quick. I just want to have that. No, this Bible is for us to read. That's why when we read it, it has feeling. That's great. It has emotion in it, don't you? Yeah, yeah that's you what go I'm to saying. a church, yeah. they, they, they read some. They sound scripture. like faggots. You're going to get, you going to want them to sh just. You, read, you shut the fuck up. Well, I used to fall asleep when I was in church. You know, right? It ain't no, ain't no manly uh, vibration in no church, man. That scripture right there, just like, like he's tweaking. Can you imagine like, a woman reading this? A woman. Oh uh, man. The Lord I, 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 shall I go forth as a mighty broker. Oh, uh, <laughs> they won't read that one. Right, 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 right. 
The Lord is a mighty lover. <laughs> that twists the scriptures up. Because I went into some books, man, that they remade the new King James Version Bible. You know, that's some bullshit. Man, I was like, oh, oh man, yeah, I gotta put this shit bullshit. down, man. Because they take I what it. Put this shit down, yeah, because what them different translations do is uh, they don't sound as powerful. It takes all the power out of it. Yep. It'll say the same thing, but it, it, they find out a way to make it less powerful sounding. Mm -hmm. Cause that King James Bible, the way it was written, the Lord put a spirit on the men when they was translating that, That's man. Right. That's right. It, it, it's obvious. It's obvious, cause when you read it, you can feel the power in the words, man. Uh, it was, it was at 49, I was at 42. I was at 42. I was at 42. Started 13, 14, 15, and 16. I mean, this is when we read now. That's that's not even the original Hebrew. And listen to how powerful you know, it still sounds. You know. So it sounds ten times more powerful in the Hebrew. I like that. I like that. It was like he's he, like he's tweaking and chopping some head off. For real. Well, well, actually, he said uh, he said I gave y'all plenty of time. You know, so we read that again. Okay. I have uh, Isaiah forty-two and um, fourteen. Because uh, the script long time holding my peace. long time because the scriptures all uh, there's many scriptures that say the Lord is slow to anger, mm -hmm. slow to anger. Yep, 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 yep. You know what I'm saying? Great long power. Time. But, yeah, he give you some time. He gonna give you time. The Lord will always give you a warning. Hey, that time running out like a motherfucker. Yep. That sand, that sand clock. Yeah, the hourglass. Yep, yep. It got only got a couple of grains yeah, left up in it. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's right. And that's literally that's the truth. Motherfuckers think they got to the till they ready. That's what they think. They got they think they got the time till they ready. To the day they wake up and say, oh, okay, it's time for me to get right now. Like they, if in that case, they ain't gonna never get right. Hell no. You know, living in this wicked ass kingdom, man, they ain't gonna wanna get right. Especially when you're a fucking faggot and you get great benefits, you catch an infection from your fucking faggot ass mate, you can go that same motherfucking day, you can go get a a, a shot. <laughs> a penicillin or wherever the fuck they're giving you. Wait, that, they can't cure that new shit. Uh, and they get the shot free because the other people paying for it. Oh, yeah. You know? There's other people paying for it. Shit. Plus, now if you're in the military, if you can be a faggot in the military and your gay husband yep. can get military benefit. He don't even got to work. He can just be married to you. Yep, and get taken care of. And he get free benefits, free dental, free health, everything. That's great, man. Ta no taxes. That's mad. I have long time holding my peace. Long time. So the Lord gave y'all plenty of time, man. So now we're almost out of time. That's right. I have been still and refrained myself. Yep. Now will I cry like a travelling woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So people say, how come y'all talk about the Bible like Jesus lived 2,000 years ago? Man? Well, the Lord just clearly said, he gave, he said a long time has he holding his peace, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, that's right. I will make waste mountains and hills. Just like Peter says, a, a one, one day is a thousand, uh, excuse me, a thousand years is one day to God. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Meaning, I mean, time ain't shit to know. He created time. That's, that's what I'm saying, days. yeah. So yeah, yeah I was shy. Got crucified yesterday to yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago, yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. And I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. Crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Yeah, because we live in America. This is the most crookedest place you could possibly live. Mm -hmm. Look at all these dirty sons of bitches out here, man. Right, dirty. Sons. You can't trust nobody. Everybody, that's a famous saying, don't trust nobody. Yep. What kind of fucked up shit is that? You can't trust nobody? Yeah, right, right. Hell, yeah, right. You, hell no, you can't trust nobody. Right. Hell yeah. Right. So if you, if you disagree with a single war, we say you're fucking stupid, man. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed. They'll be greatly ashamed. That trust in graven images. Trust, yeah, trust in all this bullshit, all the American idols and all that. That say to the molten images, ye are gods. That's a fool. 
Yeah, people always trusting. They got the bitches got rosemary beads, little Jesus necklaces. Motherfuckers got Buddhas up in their house. Bitches work, uh, worship a picture of Barack Obama. They worship Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's an idol. They got a TV show called American Idol. And the word idol comes from a Greek word. The idol uh, comes from the word Edo, which means to see. It means to worship what you see, to what you can see, feel, and touch. You know what I'm saying? That's what that means. So, so that's, but actually, that's what, let me get that, man. Hear ye deaf, and look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Let me read this real quick for you. Uh, Second John, uh, excuse me, First John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So we're not part of this filthy ass world. But this is the point right here. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, what you see, the lust of the eyes. That's why I said the word idol is a come from the Greek word uh, eidos, which means to see. Okay, so so the idol worship is all worshiping what you can see. Like these bitches, all a bitch care about is looking good, makeup and nails and shit, all, all, all physical shit. Everything that's pleasing to the eyes. But back in the ancient world, they worship. Uh, they still do it today. They worship statues and shit, and they were real pleasing to the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like them goddamn Mexicans, they worship uh, sainted. Uh, where Muerte, the god of the angel of death. Oh yeah, they got that big they got ass statues and shit. Big ass Caesar on that mountain. Oh yeah, they got, oh yeah, see, down in Rio de Janeiro, they got a big giant statue. It's real pleasing to the eyes, because that's an idol. Get an eye, your eyes, idol. It's kind of funny, in a couple of movies, they destroyed that thing. Yeah in, the mo yeah, in the movies. It's going to get destroyed. Yeah. It's time's coming. And there's always those Mother Nature movies type oh, shit, like. This is time is coming for that motherfucker. This like Armageddon. Touchdown, it? Jesus got it, it's coming next. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that's the point. Uh, that's the point. I can read it again. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, it's of the world. So all, all this caring about how good you look, getting all these fresh clothes, got some fresh gear, got got some new uh, $200 pair of shoes. Man, how stupid is you to get a $200 pair of shoes? I get a fucking 20 pairs of shoes for that much. Right, right. Better shoes than what you got, too. Hey, I'll with, go hustle. Hey, with some jeans. Yeah, I'll get shirts. some jeans, yeah, with the Nintendo and all kind of I go, shit. I go to thrift stores up there. Yeah, I go, to, you know? I go to the thrift stores, and I go to the flea market. That's right. I, I just went to the Mexican flea market uh, right. last week. Me and the boys went out there. there. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there. Mexican. Like outside, huh? Yeah. Every time I go up there, it's a car. You take care of me. It's a car. Hook, hook you up with some deals. The second, I'm going to go back to the second Peter's 2 and uh, we'll start at 3. And through confessiousness shall they be feigned, shall with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Yeah, so the, the, your damn, all you people who got a problem with the Bible, look, your time is near. Your time is short. Ain't a lot of time left. That time of destruction is coming real soon. That's right. For if the Most High Spirit not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness. If we got cast into hell being right here, this is hell right here. That's right. Living in, living in this filth is hell. We're in, they were in chains of darkness. Mm. Well, to be reserved unto judgment, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world and the ungodly. The ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, America, into ashes, condemned them with an overflow. So okay, he was just talking about hell. See, that's why people are retarded to believe in hell. Because the whole time it's talking about actual places actually getting destroyed. Right. The whole time. That's right. It spoke about Noah when the earth was flooded. That wasn't talking about hell, okay? But the Lord compared it to that, that destruction. You know what I'm saying? Condemned them with an overflow. Making them an example, an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Like that example of Lot's wife he showed you. This guy turned to a pillar of salt. They told her not to look back. She, she looked she back. Missed, she missed them benefits. Yep. She was good. She you know, she, missed her all of her possessions. Uh, they had a lot. They had a lot of possessions. Yeah, because I remember. 
Yeah, because at first, yeah, because a lot originally was uh, living with Abram, but they had to split up because the camps got too big, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. And what happened? Right, exactly so, happened. so he had a lot of wealth. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Shit, at first, Lot really didn't want to lose. Right. You know? The angels had to make him lose. Come on, grab his hands. Just and and it, the destruction was so great, the destruction was so great, the Lot's daughters thought the whole world was destroyed. Yeah, they thought the whole world was I done I mean, they never seen no shit like that before. Right, could you imagine? We ain't never seen no shit like that. Hey, all we can do is look at videos of Hiroshima on, on, on YouTube. And that, that's what you call everlasting fire. That's some hell for them right there. That's hell fire. They got missiles called hellfire missiles. Yeah. You ever hear of a hellfire missile? Mm -hmm. Look it up, a Hellfire missile. Yeah, Russia also has one called Satan. Yeah, they got a missile called Satan. That's a, Damn. That's a that's nuclear missile. That's the big motherfucker. Yeah. Damn. That's, that lets off probably by 20, 30, 40 warheads. That's called Satan. You know, nice, boy. Satan, it's called Satan. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's some serious destruction coming from these motherfuckers, man. For real. Wicked ass bastards, man. A bunch of wicked dry heathens. They might as well be heathens. Probably, yeah. No good, man. These people ain't shit. Hey, listen, man, they, they care less. These motherfuckers continue to walk by and ignore the word of God. Ignoring the Lord.